good morning. I'm Claude Pichat, Professor of Nutrition at the Geneva University Hospital in Switzerland. During the next few minutes, I'm going to talk about um, either or not still a debate about uh, supplemental parenteral nutrition in ICU patients. Well, whenever a human body is facing trauma, surgery, infection, the result will be a metabolic stress which is associated with uh, intense catabolism and reduction of the lean tissue, mostly the muscle mass. As a result, there is an increased number of uh, complications during the ICU stay, mostly infection complications. And after a number of observational studies showing that the bigger the energy depth during the first few days in the ICU and the more frequent the complication, mostly the infectious complication during the ICU stay. On this basis, we have formed the hypothesis that if we provide the patients with an optimal energy coverage the number of complications, as well as the length of the ICU stay and the duration of mechanical ventilation would be lower. Now, there have been, during the last two years, three different trials with different and some conflicting result. One of the study, named EPANIC, has shown that if you provide patient in the ICU with parenteral nutrition from the very first day, and if you give somehow an excess of energy during this period of observation, there is an increase in mortality. Then there has been a second trial, and this trial has tested the application of parenteral nutrition once Entral nutrition has been shown insufficient to cover the energy needs. And the study has shown positive results, meaning a reduced number of infection and a reduced duration on mechanical ventilation. And the last study recently published has given parenteral nutrition from the beginning in the ICU to all the patients with a contraindication to enteral nutrition. And they found no change in mortality and an improvement in the number of infectious complications and in the duration on mechanical ventilator. As an overall conclusion, it may be said that the strategy of providing full energy coverage to all the ICU patients cannot be proposed to all the patients, but to a selection of patients not being tolerant to enteral nutrition. And this opens uh, many options for new trials to demonstrate what is the best strategy according to the patient categories. Thank you.